Can't you hear that jingle jangle sound? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's money, money, money by the pound. Hey everybody, it's Tristan Eamon with Mindful Living Realty, a realtor right here in Rapid City, South Dakota. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I talk everything about moving to Rapid City and the wonderful things about Rapid City and the Black Hills. In today's video, we're going to answer the question, so how much does it cost to buy a home in the Rapid City and Black Hills area? Let's get on my website, check out the prices, check out the homes, so you can get a feel of what you would expect to spend on a property in the Rapid City area. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the Rapid City areas because we're going to be talking about areas and how it relates to price point. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at this. I just put together this map that talks about the different areas within Rapid City uh, and, and the Black Hills. And uh, I mostly just highlighted Rapid City and the areas around Rapid City. Rapid City City Limits in blue and the surrounding areas in the yellow. So let's scroll in here. You can see here that Rapid City in itself is separated in half by the series of hills kind of right here. You've got Dinosaur Park and the Skyline Drive right here. And then this is the Hanson Memorial Park with the M Hill right there. And so this area right in here is the gap taking you from West Side Rapid City to East Side Rapid City. So you can see as we pull out a little bit here, this area here, this here, Northwest Rapid City, up here is North. This is Northeast. Coming down here to this side of highway, uh, this highway right here, this is um, Elkville Road. So uh, this here is Rapid Valley, and it's not quite exactly, my, my lines aren't exactly correct according to the way things are, but they're giving a good idea. Uh, this bigger part here is Southeast. This is City Central, City Center. And this here is a was historic West Boulevard District. And that is everything from 8th Street all the way up to Skyline Drive here. So all the area in here. And this over here is Southwest. We scroll a little bit as we get outside of Rapid City. This here is Pine Grove area. It's called Pine Grove. This is called Black Gap because there's a subdivision down here. It's called Black Gap. Uh, back here to Pine Grove. And that follows Highway 16 down Hart Ranch. And this area is down over here. Uh, this here is on Sheridan Lake Road as it takes you through these uh, developments down here when you'll see Colonial Pine Hills. Uh, that's the only, the only only Google talks about, talks about being Colonial Pine Hills. Uh, but all these uh, Red Rock Estates, uh, countryside, all these developments down here are in Sheridan Lake Road area. And then, and this is southwest again, and also over here is Rimlock Highway. This is high, following Highway 44 out to Highway 35. And this up here is Nemo Road. Now to kind of amend my statement before, these areas here, they're partially in town, partially outside of town, but they're the areas kind of still considered rapid city. As you get into these yellow areas, we'll talk about other cities. So this is Hermosa area. This is Mount Rushmore area that takes you by Keystone in this area through here. Up here is Box Elder, which is a home for two Ellis Air Force Base. This area up here is called Elk Creek because this is Elk Creek Road right up here that follows Elk Creek and these areas up in here. Everything from Black Hawk all the way up to this Tilford area, this is called Piedmont Valley. And then of course you have the area around Sonny Sturgis and there's a road going from Sturgis to Deadwood Leadwood called Boulder Canyon. And uh, further out from that, you've got Northern Hills, you've got Southern Hills and you've got Central Hills as well as Northern Plains, Southern Plains and then anything of course outside of the Black Hills area. Right, so those are the areas we're talking about. We'll spend most of our time talking about the areas in the blue and maybe a little bit outside of that, just kind of give you an idea of the price points in Rapid City and the surrounding area. Bunny copper column, bunny silver column, I'm in love with you. All right, now let's start looking into the prices of the homes themselves. Now I'm on my website, rapidhomesonline.com. Um, my site shows only the active listing, so we're gonna be dependent today on what is actively in, on the market right now, but we should get a better, real good idea of what you can find for what price and what areas uh, to give you a good idea of how to start searching. Now I've got it selected for just Rapid City for now to kind of get an idea of what uh, our first price point up to 250. What can you get for under under 250 in the Rapid City area? In my map search here, and uh, this is going from the the highest price point all the way to the lowest price point. But you can see right off, what's the first thing you notice is that 
anything west side, zero. Nothing over here. It's all east side, north side, and of course there's one way out here in Rapid Valley. So you can see here, as we let's go scroll, scroll down here, we'll get to the first page. Let's go get to the bottom of this line. And uh, these ones here at the bottom, under 100,000, all mobile homes uh, uh, with no, no land. Not, no permanent foundation. Uh, it's basically a big car. So you have to get cash or a special loan to buy. Um, so anything under 100,000 is basically gonna be mobile home type for that scenario. Uh, anything under uh, 120, I mean, look at this. This is gonna be quite the fixer upper to say the least. Lots of stuff kind of going on here. Oh, look, country station, a little flying right there. So, I mean, a lot, new siding, a lot of things going on right there. Small little house on the north side of town. Um, this actually is a, a mobile home here as well. That's been redone. How about that one? You like that siding? That's a pretty nice one there. 876, small acreage. Definitely DIY. Part 35, and this is on the southeast side of town, East St. Patrick. Uh, East, East St. Pat is one of the main areas through town, so you've got a lot of rentals in this area. Uh, you've got a lot of, uh, it's a busy road, so not everybody wants to live on East St. Pat. But you can see smaller homes. These are north side as well. Uh, this is the southeast side here. As you get to closer to 150, smaller home, three bed to one bath. I'm sorry, this Hawthorne one actually is on the north side as well. It's a manufactured home. This is an older home in West Boulevard. It could be nice, it probably needs some work is my guessing, but 2,400 square feet, four bedrooms, two baths. As you get closer to 200,000, we're starting to get into some bigger properties. Uh, this one again is going to need some work, uh, but definitely should be able to should consider the fact that you're going to be spending some money to do some repairs, uh, or you're going to uh, need to do something to get the house to the point where you're ready to move into it. Um, I've been to this house here 130 for 250. I'm kind of surprised it's at 250 because it seems like there needs to be uh, enough work in there to uh, really make it worth anything, even though it says new carpet, new this, new that. Uh, it actually has a lot of things that are kind of goofy in there. Uh, I mean, that old cabinets and stuff, it, it's pretty pretty sad. Um, the other ones here, this is interesting. This is a smaller, uh, new build, but it's only a thousand square feet. So this area in the Brookfield Smell Subdivision, they, are, they do some new constructions, but they are very, very small. Look at this some price reductions. I haven't seen the price reductions in a while. So with, with 200, 220, you're getting to the point where you actually can buy some uh, property that's uh, relatively decent, uh, but it's gonna be smaller. It's probably not gonna be as nice as you want. Uh, and the ones that are bigger uh, for, for under 250 uh, probably need some considerable work. There's something that's been on the market for a long time. There's probably a reason why. So we want to make sure we take a look at that. All right, so let's go back to our search. Uh, let's see, back to my search here. We'll still say in Rapid City, but we'll go from, from the 250 to the 500. So we get all quite a bit more properties. And as you notice, they're farther out. So Rapid City was started downtown and then it uh, grew out. So the uh, areas closer to downtown, those are gonna be the areas that are gonna be the smaller homes, the older homes, uh, and of course the, the cheaper homes because of that. As things were developed out and out, uh, outside of town, things got to the point where you've got bigger homes and now it's like new construction, like this area is in Fieldstone. New construction area, this is a very nice neighborhood. Uh, for $400,000, you get this type of property. It is uh, 2,800 square feet, probably built within the last uh, five to 10 years. Uh, certainly a nice subdivision type property. Let's see if we can get to the inside pictures here. Yeah, yeah, very nicely done. For $500,000. One thing you notice here on the, on the map search here is that even here in town, there actually should be more in this area 
in the uh, west side of town. Uh, however, they're getting sold. Uh, so if I had a more under contracts on it, I could probably find them on this list. But everything on the west side under 500,000 is either sold or there's nothing there, right? Here's a property on so this area here. This is uh, you, you're buying a mobile home, but it's on some acreage. So a lot of times, you, you, when you buy it in one acre in town, that um, that kind of gets you where place you need to be. I'm not sure that 350 is um, the, the correct, the right price for this property. But you looks like you got some great views, that kind of thing. You got some new constructions for 360 out in the valley. A lot of a lot of new constructions in the valley. More new construction. This is a nice uh, Rapid Valley neighborhood too. 325, 1800 square feet, four bedroom, two bath, built 2008. It's a nice West Boulevard property for, for 300. But uh, you know, you gotta like wallpaper on this one. How about that? So I need some updating in that scenario. West Side property here in Dale Drive. A little bit bigger lot. Looks like it used to be a duplex, but nothing fancy inside. Very basic type property. 2,000 square feet. Uh, north side property on Dolphin. Try level. Looks like they've done a pretty good job updating this one. This is 275. New construction here. Here's a west side one here. I just went down $17,000. My goodness. Pretty typical west side uh, location at the 50s build, probably. Let's see if that says here, yeah, the 1955. So you have kind of the older cabinets, um, the uh, 50s look, 50s, these are original hardwood floors. Uh, but you're on the west side of town, so you got you, you get to pay for that. So that's where we get for from 250 to 500. Uh, as you kind of mentioned again, anything on the west side of town, we're starting at 300,000, but just to get into something on the west side of town, and who knows the condition or quality. I looked at a property earlier this year for 250, um, and it was completely uh, hasn't been touched since the 1970s. So everything needed to be updated, uh, carpets, wallpaper, everything. Uh, so that's kind of what you can expect on the west side of town. And as things continue to grow, we'll probably see the prices just keep going higher and higher. All right, now let's go to the next step up uh, from 500, oops, 500 to 750. Rapid City area. And here's where we're going to start seeing some more high end properties, a little bit bigger, a little bit finer, and uh, a little bit more like, for instance, this Chipmunk Place is out in Nemo Road, so you get a little bit closer to uh, properties out in the hills. And you've got a little more land, a little bit of acreage. But anything that has Black Hills in the title, obviously the price is going up. Anything that's within 20 to 30 minutes of Rapid City is a very hot spot, very desired after neighborhood because some people want to be, hey, I want to be in the hills, but I also want to be closer to town, so I'm not far from town. Uh, so that became something that was very popular even a number of years ago, so that all got bought up pretty quick. So if you're looking for a property close to town with some acreage and you only have 300000 to spend, you're going to be in trouble. Uh, you better have above four hundred, above 500 probably to get something really nice outside of town if you get it with some acreage or, or even just on the edge of town sometimes uh, in the west side of town there's some nice properties that are kind of in the foothills uh, that you can get into but you're probably going to need to have uh, at least five hundred thousand to get into that side of town but here's six uh, red rock village that's down Sheridan lake road here's a newer home up here that's not one to load for me let's go back to my my map there we go Here's that property there. So this is, their building's a few more uh, contemporary style homes uh, up here in Southern Lake Road. You can see this kind of a newer look. And you actually have some newer constructions here. Uh, this one though is probably only about, well this one is 3,000 square feet actually. Uh, and it is, a, it is a new build. Uh, but you're buying a twin home though, you're buying a duplex. So you're only buying half a house basically. So new, there are some, a bunch of new constructions kind of up that way. Um, as, uh, but they're uh, going to have to have a little bit of money to buy in the Sheridan Lake Road area. And as you can see in this price point, there's only a few that are active. 
And this one, it's, it's a great lot, it's a little home. It's got a great view, but it's sitting kind of on the edge of the hill. So you don't have a lot of parking, you don't have a lot of room, so you gotta make sure you are okay with that. All right, going back to my search again. Go with 750 to no limit. Of course, now we have the fun ones. Down here is the Million Dollar Hill, of course, in, Ra in Rapid City. You've got Skyline Drive, where there's some nice properties. Other than that, that's where you're going to see a lot more properties out in the hills. Two to three million dollars. These are the ones with nice acreages, big houses. It's really tough to find a property in the Black Hills that is a smaller house on acreage. Because back in the day in the 80s, when 70s and 80s, when they were building these homes, that was the time when we were looking for a big house. You were looking for that big vacation home in the hills. So a lot of the properties in the hills are pretty nice size. They're 30,000 square feet, 2,500 square feet, whatever. So finding that 1,800 square foot property with a few acres in the hills, eh, it's pretty tough. Just to kind of give you an idea of how things started and how things had been built in back in the day. So let's go back down through here. You can see here we've got some ground to 750. So this one has got two and a half acres. And you're, you're kind of with kind of in town, but kind of not in town. Some rolling acres there. This is a newly built, a new construction house off southeast side of town by the Elks Country Estates. And you've also got a golf course over there, so you're buying quite a bit of spearfish. Plus, you're getting the nice views of the South Dakota Prairie and the golf course. Here, you're out a property out in black out in the Black Hills. So Eight hundred thousand for three hundred for three to three hundred. That's where we're talking thirty four hundred square feet on three acres. But you need eight hundred thousand dollars to make that happen. Similarly, we got these this property out here on Whitehorse, which is on the road out to Custer. But you, so you've got this big property on I think yes sixteen acres, three thousand square feet, and you've got things like that to look at, right? Another property, another big property in Rapid City. Now this is in Red Rock Estates. That's where you're gonna find a lot of your high-end properties as well, right near the golf course there. I suppose there might be some golf course picture here. Very, very high-end construction, but you're in uh, the subdivision. You don't have a lot of acreage. You put your 0.46 acres, and it is a subdivision with a lot of uh, other high-end homes. 3,000 square foot home here. Eight acres, eight hundred seventy-five grand. All right, so I hope this gives you a good idea. Of what look at those views? What you can get in Rapid City and the surrounding area for over a million dollars. So we've talked about prices in Rapid City, and we've also talked about properties just on the outside in the Black Hills of Rapid City. A lot of people have also asked the question: Well, what about the smaller towns? Can I get something cheaper in some of the smaller towns? And generally, the answer is not really. So let's take a quick look at the bottom end of the price point of the, some of these cities, just to kind of give you a feel for what you can or might not be able to afford in the cities to showcase what is available. So let's start up with Spearfish there at the top. And Spearfish is a very popular area. It's become almost more popular and more expensive in Rapid City. But you can see here there are a number of properties here for sale under the 300,000 mark. Even some, even some 150. This one looks like a manufactured home here on on land. That's a manufactured home there for 110. Yeah, 75. That's a manufactured home. Let's go back to my map search. Yeah, manufactured home there. Manufactured home there. Here's a smaller home there in in Spearfish for 300,000. On 0.17, 800 square feet for 0.17 acre ranch style home. But as you can see, 300,000 isn't getting us very much of anything, even in the Spearfish area. All right, let's check, go back to check out Sturgis. But you're looking at being in town in Sturgis. Same one there. Three hundred thousand isn't buying you much in Sturgis either. Back to the map, we find that. Let's check out uh, uh, Somerset. I meant to check out Somerset. Uh, Somerset is halfway between Rapid City and Sturgis. I mean, halfway, but it's about 20, 25 minutes away from Rapid City. 
along I-90. And that's going to be a very popular neighborhood in this area. And, and there's nothing, uh, nothing for sale. I did sell a property in Somerset earlier this year for 305000 which is probably now at about three hundred and fifty for the way things are going. Uh, but this here is a manufactured home. Now in Hot Springs, you will find some cheaper places and maybe more of that. The problem is, is that not everybody wants to live in Hot Springs. It is an hour away from Rapid City, uh, not a lot going on in Hot Springs at the moment. Nice little town, it's very cute, it's very historic, uh, but there's just not enough going on to uh, satisfy the needs of, of a lot of people. You still have your grocery store, but it's definitely a smaller, slower town uh, to live in. I had clients that were coming up from Las Vegas and looked at Hot Springs and were thinking about Hot Springs because they wanted to really slow down. But they decided that Hot Springs was too slow and they couldn't find a cup of coffee at 2 p.m. So yes, home prices are going to be cheaper in Hot Springs. You might get more for your money in Hot Springs. Just make sure that you are interested in living in that area. The other thing that's interesting to check out is lead. Because you'll also find considerable, uh, a few more cheaper properties in Leeds, South Dakota. But consider the fact that Leeds is built on the hills. So a lot of the properties there are built on the hills. Sometimes you have to make sure you watch out for those foundation properties, uh, foundation problems, excuse me. And Leeds gets, Leeds Deadwood get 195 inches of snow a year. A hill City, there are some interesting options in Hill City. However, very, very hard to find a property to buy in Hill City and Keystone. Lots of commercial activity around there, a lot of that, of course, tourist uh, tourist area. Uh, so it gets hard to buy anything in that area. However, you can buy new construction here, but these properties are small. 1,000 square feet for 220,000, brand new. Same thing here, this is probably about 700, 700 square feet property for 205,000. Uh, property here on for 240, and uh, two beds, one bath, 816 square feet. So I'm assuming you're just gonna buy a new construction here as well. As I kind of mentioned, as we were showcasing the properties on my website, Home prices are up in our area 15% over last year, which is crazy unusual for our area, but that's the way things have been in 2021. Now, many people are asking, well, you know, the market's gonna crash, right? The prices are gonna come down. Well, that's something that I'm not really expecting to happen in our area. Consider the 2008-2010 market crash, when the rest of the country was down 50%, 60%, we went down six. That's 6%, that's it. We always seem to somehow be isolated from what's happening in the rest of the country, uh, be it our remoteness, whatever it is that, that happens. We usually have a pretty strong economy in the Rapid City area. So I can't see how the prices are going to come down anytime soon. We've got lots of businesses coming into the area. We've got a new mission coming from the Ellsworth Air Force Base. I'm talking with a lot of you that are thinking about coming into our area. So I'm not anticipating that things are going to slow down anytime soon or that prices are going to come down. Because really the only way that prices are going to come down is if we get to a position where instead of being more buyers than sellers, we have more sellers than buyers, right? We got to switch that market. And I can't see that happening in the near future. Homes are still selling for over asking price with multiple offers in 2021. I am seeing some price reductions. I'm seeing some things kind of slow down a little bit, but I kind of anticipate that to jump back a line once everybody gets back to work in January of 2022. Who knows though? I could be wrong. As always, if you have any questions about the home prices in Rapid City or about what it takes to get into a property in this, in this market, don't hesitate to give me a call, send me an email, make a comment below. I'll be sure to answer that as long as it's a, you know, not offensive comment. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful day. And remember, love where you live. Every little piece, every little piece, we could make a million by slicing him, dicing him. Hoagie, we could sell every little shell. There's enough of him to go around. Money, money, money by the pound.